New at 11, the Perry City Council recently discussed alternative sentencing methods for those convicted of nonviolent crimes. The hope is to cut down on the amount of people in jail because of the coronavirus pandemic. Wanya Reese breaks down what this means. On December 14th, the Perry City Council discussed alternative sentencing for those going to municipal court. This means house arrest could be an option instead of jail time for those facing charges in municipal court. Our municipal court came to the administration and asked us to consider an alternative form of sentencing for prisoners, and it did come from the courts. Perry Police Chief Steve Lynn says this option applies only to those who committed nonviolent crimes like traffic violations or disorderly conduct. Uh, electronic monitoring, you know, the in-house arrest uh, gives the judge another option. If he doesn't want to put them in jail, then he could sentence them to be at home. Right now, it costs the city about $40 a day to keep someone in jail versus $10 a day for home monitoring, according to Mayor Randall Walker. This is only giving the judge the discretion after he hears all the facts of the case to make a determination if that fits, and that'll be totally up to him. Chief Lynn says this measure will also limit the amount of people at the Houston County Detention Center, which would cut down the risk of COVID-19 spread. Even though Lynn is on board, the measure did face some opposition. I feel like this, their ability to pay their bills and support their family should have been part of their thought process before they decided to commit a crime. So I don't, I don't know, I'm just not, I'm just not soft on crime. Council member Joy Peterson voted against alternative sentencing, but the majority ruled with a four to one vote. Riley Hunt was out of town, so he did not vote according to Walker.